When you articulate a dream for ending poverty, everyone will want to be part of it. So in 2003, we started the nonprofit called Gawad Kalinga Community Development Foundation. In 2010, we started the GK Enchanted Farm. And these two institutions are working hand in hand as building blocks to one goal of ending poverty. GK Enchanted Farm was uh, founded by uh, Tito Tony Meloto. He wanted to address a very deep kind of poverty. And that's when he started doing camps and doing trainings. These young individuals started giving up their guns, giving up their knives and said, I'm done with this life, you know. When they went back into the biggest slum in the country, many of them got attacked, many of them got stabbed, many of them got shot. So that's why we started building homes, started building communities, so that it can be a zone of peace. Now, we have over 2,500 communities across the country, and we've been articulating this dream ever since. Let's end poverty for 5 million families by 2024. We wanted to now build a whole movement of social entrepreneurs, businesses that can also help the poor. And these are not the usual entrepreneurs. These enterprises um, come from the produce of the farm. They don't even need a middleman anymore because they themselves can already sell their own produce. A classic story, um, the family who lived under the bridge, now the sons, they have their own enterprises. They were taught from the school here in the farm. It's called Seed Philippines. So this is what we're doing now in the GK Enchanted Farm. It's the first farm village university in the world. Hi, my name is S. Clemente. I'm 19 years of age, batch 2 graduate of SEED Philippines. SEED Philippines stands for School for Experiential and Entrepreneurial Development. Naging interesado po ako sa SEED kasi po nagbibuild sila ng social enterprise na may impact po sa, ma sa mga tao po. Natutunan ko po sa SEED Philippines kung paano po magpatakbo ng business, ma-form po yung values ko. Seeing the progressive changes with the students, they came from the dumpsters, now they have their own enterprises. From people who didn't have any opportunities, no businesses here, we're now one of the biggest taxpayers in this whole district. We now have jobs here, they can work here and they can thrive. All of our children in our community, they're all going to school, many of them honor students. We now have hospitals here, clinics, we now have access to healthcare here, so it's all become now a place where communities can thrive. At the beginning, the farm has only very few transactions and we were able to get by with just an Excel. But as you grow as an organization and then you have all this foot traffic, then you all have these different transactions with a lot of suppliers already. It, it's very difficult. I really remember a time in 2014 where we had no time to dream anymore because things started to really work fast. We were trying to catch up with so many things. We were doing things manually. When we need to like change something, like you have different versions of the file. So it's very tedious to edit a file in one computer and then edit it again in another file in the computer. When we started the farm, we didn't think of technology. When we started the farm, we thought of productivity. We started, we talked about agriculture. But we saw that we needed to bridge two worlds. And that's when we encountered the Oracle NetSuite Social Impact. We applied for this grant and we were so lucky to be able to get this. The Oracle NetSuite Social Impact Group has given us this grant that tremendously reduced the amount of admin time that we put in um, to our back office works. This has allowed us to focus on what we really want to achieve. We have to do things fast. I mean, we want to end poverty for 5 million Filipinos. We want to build 500,000 social enterprises, so we have to act fast. So through NetSuite, because it's very flexible, I can create fields, I can create new forms, I can customize sales orders, I can customize requests, expense reports, without the need of another consultant. And that is very advantageous for us because we don't need to wait for like a few weeks just to be able to come up with this type of form that we need for operations. There is workflow automation. So those things that we do manually before has actually been automated already because of NetSuite. 
One of the things that I really appreciate about NetSuite is when it comes to the tax reports. Now, we only have like one person preparing it because what he needs to do is just extract a report in NetSuite and then someone else will review and approve. Well, if, if there's no NetSuite, if there's no software, you will have like three or four people coming in before it gets prepared. Because of this system and because of this platform, we will be able to really be a greater force of good. We're starting to influence as well social entrepreneurs to also use the same system. I'm standing in front of our new facilities of Batong Bayani International Incorporated, which is the company behind the brand Plash and Play. So the, the business we started here in the farm is basically plush toy baking. When we talk to the moms in this area, what we realize is most of them have a common story. They used to be working for garments factory that eventually closed down. And then so when we thought about bringing back livelihood and, and the dignity of the moms, based on what they know how to do, and what they know is sewing. So I blended together using the skills of the mom. Let's create products that we can sell to people who can afford it and donate them to the kids in all different communities. So eventually when we started the company, there was just like three or four different products we were making, but eventually this is something that has grew to 95 different SKUs, and so it's a challenge to keep inventory for, for all of them. There is a certain point where if you want to grow, uh, you need to equip your company and equip your people with the right tools. So we just chose Oracle NetSuite. I've known Oracle NetSuite for years since I was here when we implemented with the farm. And one thing we want to do is some sort of a network of enterprises that can work on the same system. So it's much easier for us to have transactional operations or to learn from one another. We look forward to have a, an operational tool that allows us to be able to have a, a better way to keep track of everything that's happening in the company and training the moms on how to use Oracle NetSuite. That's something I really get excited with. This has become a massive movement and we were so surprised. This dream that we were building up, it became much better when it was put on the ground. It was just because we were willing to engage people from all over the world and we were able and we were just so willing to make mistakes on the ground. Wake up every day and just be happy making the mistakes that we needed to make. We've built over 2,500 communities. We've helped over a million people. Uh, across the country, we're also feeding 80,000 children in our public schools a day. We also have built now 60 social enterprises and have created over 300 jobs across the GK Enchanted Farm. And that's what I'm so thankful for with this uh, partnership with NetSuite. Our team started seeing again that it wasn't just in doing the operations and in doing the numbers, and that's important, but we can never lose sight of our true bottom lines, which relate not only to the financial bottom line, but most importantly, to the social and environmental bottom lines. And that's what we wanted to focus on, and through NetSuite, we were able to do that.